Why don't you tell us about what it was like working with Judd Apatow? Um, well, I've worked with him. Uh, you know, he's kind of been he's been my mentor for uh, a long time, and he's um, he's the greatest mentor really you could ask for. He's creative, creatively. You know, I think the strongest person in, in the industry for comedy. You guys did a lot of ad-libbing and, and riffing. Mm -hmm. um, how do you handle that as a director? I mean, is it easier? Is it harder? I think it benefits comedy. I think that um, without it, comedies, you, you know, what ends up happening if you don't do improv is you, do, you only have one option for a joke. So when you test the movie and that joke doesn't work, you can't switch it out for something else because you haven't done a bunch of improv. Mm -hmm. I also think it keeps the actors on their toes so they're more in the moment because they're, they're, they're kind of guessing what's going to happen versus like just reciting the same lines. Mm -hmm. Did you guys make any changes according to like new ideas that were, that came out of that? Well, we, you know, we work really, you know, hard on the script uh, in pre-production and write it as if we're not going to do any improv. So it's not like we go in with just a script that's, you know, um, that's not done. And then in in the rehearsal process, we do a lot of improv. Mm -hmm. And the best improvs are put into the script and the best kind of, if there's any story stuff, by then usually the story's figured out. Mm -hmm. um, but the best improvs are put into the script. The casting process with Diddy, was, he was amazing. Yeah, he's our McLovin. <laughs> our McLovin. It's the first time, I never thought that that way, that Sean Combs would be described as our McLovin. <laughs> He's our, yeah, he, um, you and, know, and I, he had a little less Grossman in him too from Tropic oh yeah, Thunder. That's totally true. Yeah, he totally, yeah. He, um, I thought of him for the part when I was writing the part. Um, I thought he, I wrote it kind of for him. And he came, when he came into audition, he was just, uh, he was great. He just nailed it. He was hilarious. And, um, and then he also, you know, with the table reads was hilarious. And every, every table read, he kept just expanding his part because he was just so funny. <laughs> and he improv just like the weirdest the weirdest and most hilarious stuff and knows so much obviously about the music industry that he could really improv in that world yeah. in a really funny way. Yeah. Um, and you just want to know like, I mean, you want to, you just want to know what makes him tick, you know, and so you just want to keep asking. So we had Jonah would just ask him all these questions on camera, you know, and just like, and he was just hilarious. So.